Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on 15 puzzle problem in branch and bound in design and analysis of algorithms course. Okay, 15 puzzle problem was invented by Sam Lloyd in 1878. Okay, this problem was discovered in 1878 by the scientist named Sam Lloyd. Okay, next. The 15 fuzzy problem consists of 15 numbered tiles on a square frame with a capacity of 16 tiles. Okay, so this is a square frame. On that square frame, 16 tiles capacity is there we have to place 16 tiles on that square frame we have 15 tiles are placed that are numbered from 1 to 15 and one empty slot is there so because of that reason the capacity of the square frame is 16 tiles on that 16 tiles capacity square frame we have placed only 15 tiles that are numbered from 1 to 15. Okay, next one. The objective of this 15 puzzle problem is to transform the arrangement of tiles from initial arrangement to goal arrangement. Okay, this is the initial arrangement of tiles on 16 capacity frame. Okay. So, our main objective is to transform this arrangement to this arrangement. This arrangement is called as initial arrangement and this arrangement is called as goal arrangement. Okay. Next one. There is always an empty slot in the initial arrangement. Okay, in this initial arrangement, this is the empty slot. Okay, so this is called as initial arrangement and this is called as goal arrangement. In the initial arrangement, this slot is called as empty slot. Okay, next one is uh, legal moves. So, legal moves are the moves the tiles adjacent to empty tile either in up direction or down direction or uh, left direction or right direction. Okay. So, this is the empty slot. Okay. For this empty slot, what are the adjacent tiles? So, 3 is the adjacent tile. And 7 is the adjacent tile. And 6 is the adjacent tile. And 12 is the adjacent tile. Okay. So, these tiles are moved based on the empty slot position. Either in the uh, down direction, up direction, right direction and left direction. Okay, so legal moves are the moves in which the tiles adjacent to empty slide. This is the empty tile. Okay, the tiles adjacent to empty tile are 3, 7, 12, 6 or moved to either left direction. Okay, 7 tile can be moved to left direction. Now empty tile can be moved to this position. Okay, next one, 6 tile can be moved to this position, empty tile can be moved to this position. The third tile can be moved to this position, empty tile can be moved to this position. 12 tile can be moved to this position, the empty tile can be moved to this position. Okay, the tiles adjacent to empty tile are moved either in left direction, right direction, up direction, up direction and down direction. Okay, so these are the uh, movements are there. The tile can be moved to either up direction or down direction 
or left direction or right direction. Okay. Each move creates a new arrangement. Suppose uh, the third tile can be moved to down direction. Okay. The empty tile can be moved to this position. Okay. Now this, this is one new arrangement. Okay. Next, seven can be moved to uh, this position. Empty tile can be moved to this position. That is one new arrangement. Six can be moved to this position. Empty tail can be moved to this position. This is also a new arrangement. Okay. That means each move creates a new arrangement. These arrangements are called as states of the fuzzy. Okay. Each move creates a new arrangement. Okay. Each arrangement is called as a states of the fuzzy. So according to that, how many number of arrangements are there? So this is one arrangement, this is one arrangement, this is one arrangement, this is one arrangement. Okay, four movements are there, four new arrangements are possible. So that new arrangements are called as the states of the fuzzy. Okay, next one. The initial arrangement is called as initial state. This is one arrangement. This is called as initial arrangement. This initial arrangement is also called as a initial state. Okay. Now, our objective is to transform this initial arrangement to goal arrangement. Okay. This is goal arrangement. So, this goal arrangement is also called as a goal state. This is, this arrangement is also called as a initial state and this arrangement is also called as a goal state. Okay. Whatever the new arrangement we are obtained by moving the tiles that are adjacent to empty slide, uh, one new arrangement is possible. That new arrangement is called as states of the fuzzy. Okay. Initial, this is a initial state and this is the goal state. Okay. Next one, the state space tree for 15 fuzzy problem is very large because how many number of different arrangements are possible? 16 tiles are there, 16 factorial different arrangements are there. 16 factorial is equal to 20.9 into 10 power 12 different arrangements are possible. So that it is very difficult to draw the state space tree for the 15 puzzle problem. Only a portion of the state space tree shown in uh, next slide. Okay, next one. In the state space tree, the nodes are numbered as per the level. Okay. In the first level, only initial arrangement is there. So that is node 1. Based on the empty uh, slot, we have what are the possible moves are there. So where then new arrangements are possible that are numbered or also. Okay. So each new arrangement can be denoted by one node. Okay. So in the state space tree, the nodes are numbered as per the level uh, based on the movement of the empty slot. Any new arrangement comes, that new arrangement, uh, new arrangement is also treated as one node. Okay. Next one. Each nest move is generated based on the empty slot positions. So based on the empty slot positions, okay. So mm, move, next move is generated. Based on the next move is generated, a new arrangement is possible. Okay. That new arrangement is also denoted as one node. Okay. Next one. Edges are labeled according to the direction in which empty slot moves. So based on the empty slot movement, so edges are denoted. Okay. So for example, this is the empty slot. Okay. Suppose this empty slot can be moved to down. 12 can be placed in this position and empty slot can be uh, inserted in this position. 
so according to the uh, according to the direction we have a edge empty slot moved from this position to this position this is a downward direction so the edge is labeled as down edge is labeled as down and one new arrangement is occurred okay next one seven can be moved to this position so left position so an edge is labeled with the left one new arrangement is possible okay Six can be moved to right. Okay, so the edge is labeled with right. One new arrangement is possible. Next, three can be moved to down. Okay, the edge is labeled with the down direction. Okay, one new arrangement is occurred. That new arrangement can be treated as one node. Okay, now um, this is the sample state space free. Okay. So this is the root node. Okay. So this root node becomes the E node while creating its children, four children. So E node is nothing but E node is a live node. That node is just created and its children are also generated. So that node is called as E node. Okay, now the root node becomes the E node. So this is the root node. This root node is the E node because its children are already generated. Okay, next we can decide which node to become an E node based on the estimation formula. Okay, among the four nodes, okay, which node becomes the E node? that can be calculated by using this formula c cap of x is equal to f of x plus g of g cap of x okay so by using this formula we can decide which node becomes the e node okay so this is the root node so in the level one only root node is there it can be denoted it's uh, it can be denoted by state one okay state one next in the level two there are uh, four nodes are there uh, this is uh, node two node three node four node five in the level one uh, four nodes are there okay in the level uh, in the level one only a single node is there so this is a state one okay next in the second level there are four nodes are there so this is node 2 node 3 node 4 node 5 in the next level whatever the nodes that we are created that are 6 7 8 9 10 okay so these are the states states of the fuzzy this is the first state second state third state fourth state fifth state okay so each and every state can be represented by a node number. Okay, next one. C cap of x is equal to f of x plus g cap of x. Before going to this formula, how we are calculating the cost? First, what are the uh, next? What are the next nodes? How we are created? Okay. So this is the root node. This node becomes the e node. Next. What are the possible uh, arrangements are there? So now, first one, node 3 can be moved to dumb. Node 3 can, uh, tile 3 can be moved to dumb. So then, this empty tile can be moved to this position. Okay, we are creating one arrangement. That arrangement is called as new arrangement. So that is 1, 2, this empty tile can move to this position. So this position is vacant position. Okay. So now this empty tile can be moved to this position. Next four is no change. And five and six. This is eight. Next nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 7. Okay. So now no empty tail can be moved to this position and uh, this position 3 becomes down. Okay, so tile 3 can be moved to 
down position and uh, empty tail can be moved to up position okay so now this is called as empty tail can be moved to up position so empty tail can be moved to up position okay next one next one is uh, the empty tail can be moved to right position okay so empty tail can be moved to right position eight move to this position empty tail move to this position so empty tail move to right here empty tail move to up position here the empty tail move to right position so then we becomes one two three there is no change and five six empty tail can be moved to this position eighth tail can be moved to this position empty tail is it this one 9 or 10 11 12 13 14 15 7 okay next one the empty tile can be moved to uh, down direction okay this tile empty tile can be moved to down direction 11 can be moved to up direction so that is this is a uh, down direction okay so now one two three four five six empty tail can be moved to this position eleventh tail can be moved to up direction eight so nine ten empty tail twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen seven okay next one empty tail can be moved to left direction so now it is moved to left direction so then six can be moved to this position okay so now one two this is the left direction one two three four so five this is empty slot six eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, thirteen fourteen fifteen seven okay so based on the movement of the empty slot based on the movement of the empty slot okay the new arrangements are possible okay on the edges okay on the edges what we are right okay the empty slot can be moved to either up direction or right direction or down direction or left direction suppose empty slot can be moved to up direction one new arrangement we are getting that new arrangement can be treated as one node that node is numbered as two okay the empty slot can be moved to right direction okay one new arrangement we are getting okay that node number can be treated as three the empty slot can be moved to down direction so then we are getting a new arrangement the empty slot can be moved to left direction then we are getting a new arrangement next one uh, next we are taking this new arrangement again empty slot what are the possibilities of movement of empty slot that slots can be denoted in this way so in this way we are getting the state space free from in various levels finally where we are stop okay final at finally at which node level at which node in a particular level then we are reaching the goal state goal state is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 this is the last is the empty slot that is the goal arrangement if we are reaching the goal arrangement we have to stop the extending of this procedure so then the construction of state space tree is completed okay next one so here see how we are calculating the cost c cap of x is equal to f of x plus g cap of x suppose we are taking this is the node x root node root node can be treated as x 
Now we are calculating the C cap of X. C cap of X is equal to C cap of X is equal to so this is a node X. C cap of X is equal to F of X plus G cap of X. F of X means length of the path from the root node to node X. So node X is the root node. So length of the path from root node to root node is 0. Plus G of X is the number of non-blank tiles. Uh, number of non-blank tiles which are not in their goal position for node X. Okay. That means, okay, tile 1 is there in the correct position when we are comparing to the goal position. Yes. Tile 2, yes, it is in correct position. Tile 3, it is in correct position. Comparing this uh, root node with the goal node. Okay. So, 4, it is already there in the correct position. 5, it is already there in the correct position. 6, it is already there in the correct position. Okay. 7th, it is not there in the goal position. Okay. So, that is one wrong. Okay. Number of non blank tiles which are not in the goal position. First one, 8, it is correct position. 9, correct position. 10, correct position. 11, correct position. 12 correct position, 13 correct position, 14 correct position, 15 correct position, 7 it is not in the correct position. That is 1 plus 1. So among them we have subtract minus 1. Okay. Because uh, empty node can empty type type cannot be counted. So, so 2 minus 1 that is 1. That is equal to 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay. How many number of wrong tiles in their positions? Okay. Node 1, tile 1, it is in the correct position. Tile 2, correct position. Tile 3, correct position. Tile 4, correct position. Tile 5, correct position. Tile 6, correct position. Tile 7, okay, it is not there. So, that is one wrong, uh, wrong position. 8, correct position, tile 9, correct position, 10, 11, 12, correct position, 13, 14, 15, correct position. But 7, it is not in the correct position. So, so this is one wrong position, this is one wrong tile position. 1 plus 1, subtract minus 1, because empty tile cannot be counted. So, 2 minus 1, that is 1, this is the G cap of X. Therefore, C cap of X is equal to 0 plus 1, that is equal to 1. Now, for this node, how we are calculated? Now, suppose this is a node X we have to take. This is the node X. So, that is equal to F of X. F of X means length of the path from the root node to the node X. Okay. So, this is the root node and this is the node X. What is the length? So, length means that is 1. Okay. So, this is level 2. This is level 1. 2 minus 1. That is 1. Length of the path from root node to node X is the length from this level to this level. That is 1. 1 plus. Next, what are the non-blank positions are not there in their correct position? Okay. So, 1, correct position. 2, correct position. 3, correct, not, uh, 3, correct position. Not in correct position. 4, it is correct position. 5th, correct position. 6th, correct position. 3, it is not in correct position. 8, already correct position. 9, 10, 11, 12, already in correct position. 13, 14, 15, already in correct position. 7, it is not in correct position. So, 3 minus 1, that is 2. So, that is 1 plus 2, that is equal to 3. Okay. Next one, C cap of now, node X is this one. So, length means, length from root node to this node is 1. Level 2 minus level 1, that is 1. How many tiles not there in correct position when we are comparing to the goal, goal positions? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. They are in correct position. 5, 6, correct position. 7, not correct position. 8, not correct position. That is 1 plus 1. 9, 10, 11, 12, correct position. 13, 14, 15, correct position. 7, not correct position. So, 
3 minus 1 that is 2 that is equal to 3. Next one, this one, suppose we are taking, this can be taken as node x. So, c cap of x is equal to length from root node to this node is level 2 minus level 1, 2 minus 1 that is 1 plus how many tiles are not there in correct position when we are comparing to the goal position. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 correct positions, 5, 6 correct position, 11, here it is a 7 but it is 11, so 1 not correct position, 8 correct position, 9, 10 correct position, this is not the correct position, 12 correct position, 13, 14, 15 correct position, 7 is not in correct position. So that is 3 minus 1, that is 2, that is equal to 3. Next one, now suppose this is this can be called as node x is equal to f of x. f of x means length from root node to this node is 1. How many number of edges are there? Only one edge is there. Okay, 1 plus how many number of tiles not there in correct position when we are comparing to the goal position? 1, or 1, 2, 3, 4 already in their correct positions. 5 already correct position. 6, it is not there in the correct position. 7, it is not there in correct position. 8, it is already correct position. 9, 10, 11, 12 correct positions. 13, 14, 15 correct position and 7 not correct position minus 1. So that is 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3. So in this way we have to extend the state space 3 until we are reaching the goal position. Okay. So up to this point we have to calculate the cost. In the next level, so what is the f of x value? Length from root node to next node in the level x. So that is how many number of edges are there? Two edges are there. Level 3, level 1. 3 minus 1. That is f of x is equal to 2. Okay. C of uh, g of x can be calculated there. How many number of tiles are not there in correct position when we are comparing with the goal position? Okay. Now, this is the initial assignment. Initial assignment. And the final note 23 is the goal assignment. Okay. This is initial assignment. This is the goal assignment. Okay. So, initial assignment can be denoted by node 1. This is the root node and this is the E node. And its children are node 2, node 3, node 4, node 5. And node 2 children are node 6, node 7. Node 3 children are node 8, node 9. Node 4 children are node 10, node 11, node 12. Node 5 children are node 13, node 14, node 15. Okay. Node 6 children are node 16. Node 7 children are 17 and 18. Node 8 children are 19. 19. Node 9 children are 20, 21. And node 10 children are 22, 23. When we are reaching the goal assignment, we are stopping the extension of the procedure. This is the goal assignment. So this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So once we are getting the goal assignment, we have to stop the extension of the nodes. Okay, next one. So based on the, based on the movement of the empty slot, this empty slot can be moved to right direction, left direction, up direction, down direction. So this is empty slot can be moved to up direction, right direction, down direction, left direction. Okay. So the empty slot can be moved to up direction. Three can be moved to this place and the empty slot can be moved to this place. Okay. The remaining all are same. Next, the empty slot can be moved to right direction, this right direction, 8 can be moved to this place, empty tile can be moved to this place, then we are getting node 3. Next one, uh, empty slot can be moved to down direction, so empty slot can be moved to this position, 7 can be moved to this position, the remaining all are same. Next, the empty slot can be moved to left direction. So then 6 comes to this place, empty tile can be moved to this place. We are getting, so node 2, node 3, node 4, node 5. 
Next one, we are considering node 2. What are the empty slots movements? Empty slot move, uh, there is no movement to up direction. Okay, there is no movement to uh, right direction. There is no movement to left direction. Uh, down direction, if you are down direction, we are getting the same. Okay, so because of that reason, only right and left are possible. Next, what are the movements for empty slot? Only up and down. What are the movements are possible? Right, down, left. What are the movements are possible? Up or down or left. Now going this one, what are the possible moves are there? Only down move. Well, by considering this one, what are the possible movements down and left for the empty slot? What are the possible movements? Only left movement for empty slot. What are this? What are the possible movements? Only down and left. Next, this one. What are the possible movements? Up and down. Once, once we are getting the uh, vision, we have to stop the extending procedure. In the previous slide also, we are how to we are calculating the cost. Same procedure can be applied to this one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel in So Divvela Srinivasara. Divvela Srinivasara. This is only a part of the state space trip for 15 puzzle. Next year, edges are labeled according to the direction in which empty tile moves. Based on the empty tile move, what are the directions are possible? Based on the directions, we are writing the edges. On the edges, what direction we have to move empty tile? That can be shown. Okay. So, thank you.